By 2050, 70% of everybody on Earth will be living in cities. The human race likes to expand. There's no denying it. And I'm not talking about deep fried onion ring kind of expansion. I'm talking about human population. Look back about 50 years, our population was about 3.2 billion people. And today it's closer to 7.1 billion people. And by 2050, it may be as many as 9.1 billion people. Meanwhile, there's this concept of carrying capacity. And again, I'm not talking about how many cheeseburgers you can stuff in your stomach. Carrying capacity is a region's ability to support a certain population of animals. And if that population grows beyond the carrying capacity, the environment cannot support the population anymore, and there's a massive die-off. Now, since humanity it seems to be moving to an urban environment and populations are growing, we have to build cities that can support that many people in that small a space, which means maybe it's time to halt the sprawl and start to build up. You wake up, you're in an apartment, and that apartment is part of an energy-efficient high-rise that's using passive solar harvesting to make its net energy drag super low, maybe even zero. So it's bad for the power companies, but this is great for Mother Earth. You look out across the way to the other building, but you're not seeing gray cubicles. Instead, you're looking at vertical farms, absolutely filled with crops. Now, when you want to go across town and meet your friend at a park, you hop in a personal rapid transit pod, or you could just walk, and along the way you're going to see all these gardens on rooftops and terraces that are helping fight the urban heat island effect. Oh, and I completely forgot to mention, that park you're heading to to meet your friend, it's underground. And I don't mean that it's illegal or it's some sort of hipster speakeasy. I mean, it's literally under the ground. It's these innovations that are going to make living in these dense cities possible. Take farmland, for instance. It usually takes a lot of space to grow crops. But if we could transfer that to a vertical model and grow it in these dense cities, we could take care of our food needs in a very simple way. It also cuts down on transportation costs, because right now you might have to ship food half a world away to get to where it needs to go, but in these dense cities, it might just need to cross the street or take the elevator down a couple of floors. Now, this move into the dense city doesn't mean we're going to lose that very human part of us that's all about exploration. I mean, sooner or later, we're going to need some more resources than what the Earth can provide, and that's when we turn to space. We get a new Earth! We conquer space itself! We use the power that we have created here on this planet to spread our influence to stars far flung from our very resources until all belongs to us! So anyway, the planets that we might one day colonize could be hundreds of light years away, and as far as I know, no one's developed warp drive or faster than light travel, so you might not see it, but perhaps your great, 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 great grandchildren could stroll on the surface. One thing is very clear. Our descendants are going to have the same needs that you and I have, and that's clean energy and food. Perhaps food that was grown from a place just like Earth, or maybe even on the 25th floor. 